using a doll implanter keep by Dr. Corey Erdogan. So here on the left side, you can see that uh, the graph is grabbed by the top and then slide in the implanter without touching the ball. In this way, we don't traumatize the follicle, but in order to do that, you need to make pre-made site before that's what we did but here the hairline was done and now we are in a transition zone so it can really be done gently without traumatizing the graph and the learning curve is very 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 easy so now when we move you go to the right side on the same patient, we can see that here on the right side, the technician is rolling the implanter on a finger and then use a 45 curve forceps to push the graph in. So same patient, Two different way of implanting using the same type of implanter one was using a, gr a green and here you're using an orange one what's the difference only one hmm? this is eight this is eight millimeter 0 0.8 and the green one is what means seven 0 .7, 0 0.7 millimeter so this, because here she's working mainly for the three hair graph, and uh, so you can see how she's rolling the follicles easily and push it. Perfect. So we have different type of uh, this uh, type of forceps, and I'll present them in another video, so you can see both of them working together using the same size implanter. On the left side, using a, a straight forceps. right side using a curve forceps. 